A brake failure. A truck with mass M has a brake failure while going down an icy mountain road of constant downward slope angle alpha, as you can see in the figure. Uh, initially, the truck is moving downhill at speed V0. After careening downhill a distance L with negligible friction, the truck driver steers the runaway vehicle onto a runaway truck ramp of constant upward slope angle beta. The truck ramp has a soft sand surface for which the coefficient of rolling friction is mu sub r. What is the distance that the truck moves up the ramp before coming to a halt? Solve by energy methods. So I labeled the initial uh, distance from the uh, ground level H0 and final distance uh, with respect to the ground level is H final and the distance the truck travels down the icy road is L the distance the truck travels up the uh, truck ramp uh, I'm going to call uh, delta R okay so um, we're going to start by noting the uh, the change in the potential energy of the system so we start from height h0 and finally we reach height h final so initial potential energy of the truck is m g h 0 and final potential energy is m g h final so that the change in potential energy will be mg h final minus h zero. Now, what is the relationship between uh, L delta R and these heights? Uh, that we can read from this triangle here. Uh, this distance is L cosine alpha, this distance is L sine alpha. And likewise, here this distance is delta R cosine beta, but the height is delta R sine beta. <clears throat> so H0 is L sine alpha and H final is delta R sine beta. Now regarding the kinetic energy initially the truck has a speed V0 so we can talk about an initial kinetic energy of one half m v0 square and finally it comes to a halt so the final kinetic energy is uh, zero therefore the change in kinetic energy delta k will be uh, final minus initial minus one half m v0 square now uh, because after uh, after this point, uh, we are on this truck ramp which has a rolling friction uh, mu sub r. Uh, the mechanical energy will not be conserved. So the change in the mechanical energy of the truck will be equal to change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy, which is mg h final minus h0 minus one half m v0 square this is equal to the work done by the external force which is work done by friction uh, which is minus fr multiplied with delta r why minus because the friction does not do any work it is uh, consuming energy it's uh, extracting energy from the system to turn it into heat so uh, once again the distance uh, delta R is distance uh, traveled up the ramp, up the track ramp. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, if I look at the uh, forces acting on this truck, when I'm on, on top of this uh, ramp with an angle beta with respect to the horizontal, I see that I'm going to have 
uh, the weight of the truck pointing down and then there will be a normal force from the surface normal force n um, and this is going to make an angle beta here with respect to the um, normal and of course there will be the friction force uh, but when it comes to a stop that force is not present okay um, so the friction force will be basically opposing the motion so the friction force will uh, point down the ramp uh, as we can see here, uh, if we call this axis the uh, x-axis and this is our y-axis, the net force on the y-axis should be zero, so the normal force should be equal to mg cosine beta, which gives us a rolling friction uh, mu r times mg cosine beta which is mu r times the normal force okay so if we substitute this uh, force of friction into our energy equation uh, we obtain mg for h final i substitute delta r sine beta h uh, delta r sine beta minus for h zero i substitute l sine alpha l sine alpha minus 1 over 2 mv0 square changing kinetic energy is equal to minus mu sub r mg cosine beta times delta r so these amps will uh, cancel and this will give me delta r g sine beta minus l g sine alpha minus v0 square over 2 is equal to minus g mu sub r delta r cosine beta so if i uh, collect all the terms that have delta r in them uh, on the left hand side so this will give me in delta r parentheses uh, delta r and g parentheses delta r g sine beta and here i have delta r g mu r cosine beta so this will become it's minus on the right hand side plus in the left hand side mu sub r cosine beta this is equal to now i take these terms to the right hand side it becomes lg sine alpha plus v0 square over 2 so this gives us the final answer delta r uh, if i multiply uh, lg sine alpha by 2 this becomes uh, 2 lg sine alpha plus uh, v0 square divided by uh, 2 lg sine alpha plus v0 square over 2 so this is going to be uh, let's write it here 2 lg sine alpha plus v0 square divided by 2 now i have to divide this by Two G sine beta plus mu r cosine beta. All right. So this basically is our uh, final answer for 
delta r, the distance we travel up the ramp. Okay, so once again this uh, truck is moving on a road which doesn't have any friction. A distance uh, L down this ramp which makes an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal at an initial height H0. For this part of the travel we have energy conservation but for this part we have energy being consumed by friction. So the a change in kinetic plus potential energy, the change in the mechanical energy is equal to the um, energy extracted by friction minus uh, friction force times delta R work done by friction uh, and using this geometry we can relate H0 and HF to L and delta R uh, as you can see here and we can uh, find what the friction force is by looking at the normal force on the surface which should be balancing mg cosine beta uh, so this gives us the friction force mu r mg cosine beta so we write by substituting for h final and h zero uh, the uh, expressions that we have here uh, l sine alpha and delta r sine beta we are substituted and uh, this gives us uh, our final answer if we isolate delta R, uh, as you can see uh, here.